Now, let's move on to club news. Significant news at Southampton today. Carve. We've got Sport Republic investing in the club. What do we know about this? Who are they? Well, this is a very interesting uh, turnover. We're used to sort of billionaires buying Premier League clubs, even countries buying Premier League clubs. But what we have here is an investment company that was only set up uh, in December, so only, what, about a, a month ago, at the start of December, I think. And it was set up by uh, a man called Rasmus Ankerson, who was actually on this show during the summer. And he was one of the directors of football at Brentford. He was there for six years, instrumental in uh, the way Brentford have climbed up into the Premier League by using data uh, to sign players who maybe other clubs hadn't seen the potential in. Mm. And also an investment uh, banker and venture capitalist called Henrik Kraft. And what these two men have done is they've got backing from a Serbian-born billionaire uh, called Dragon Solak. Now, he's somebody who has made a lot of money uh, by setting up media and telecoms companies in southeastern Europe. And what they have said they want to do with Southampton is to uh, create a sort of multi-model club. So, like Red Bull, we've seen Red Bull buy clubs uh, and operate clubs in Germany, Austria, Brazil and America. So what they want to do is first of all start off by buying Southampton, then buy other clubs and significantly other businesses, technology businesses, especially technology businesses that specialise in sport and they want to build a big sporting empire. So it's something a little bit different from what we've seen in the past, uh, but it could be very, very exciting uh, for Southampton supporters. And it's very, very interesting that Rasmus Ankerson is involved because he's got a very good track record uh, of finding sort of bargains in the transfer market. Mm, so that's looking to the future, but how will Zhao Jinsheng's time at the club be remembered, do you think? Well, it's strange because he's somebody who bought Southampton, I think, uh, four years ago. He bought an 80% stake uh, for, I think, £210 million. And according to our colleague at Sky News, Mark Kleiman, who broke this story today, uh, Sport Republic are paying £100 million for that 80% stake. So uh, Gao Zhisheng has lost about £110 million in four years. I think as far as Southampton supporters are concerned, I think the club has been treading water under uh, uh, Gao Zhisheng because he hasn't put any money really into the club uh, but then again he hasn't taken any money out of the club but the club hasn't really developed it's been stagnating and I think uh, Southampton supporters uh, will be very very pleased that they have uh, new owners today.